All right, so good morning, traders. Uh, main play, as you can see over here, we had Tesla this morning. We had long bias, and uh, I'm going to share the plan. So we have a main point of control at uh, this level, uh, 121 and 30. This is the weekly point of control. Right now, we are above this level. Uh, there's uh, volume, dip buyers this morning. So I made my plan, plan A+, plus, above 123, look too long, dips, and bullish patterns. So we started to uh, grab over here, dips long, this morning, 9.30. Uh, for this fact uh, that I saw over here, wash, wash into uh, a demand zone over here, into this uh, 121, and we start buying dips over here. Then we had a second level at 9.45, where we bought more over here and sold into this push and this push. And I was saying this morning, until we have this consolidation, this range, don't be early, okay? So if you know how to read a pretty good level of book maps and price action, and if you know where to look for, where to look at, then this is the zone that I really want to buy. And we bought some of this. If you miss this push, you have to wait for a main pullback. Okay, right now it's bullish. Uh, no reason to, to enter over here on this push. We need to wait the main, you need to wait for a main pullback. Over here, you can see on book map, right? We topped into this 126. We washed. Now we are a little bit lateral, 125 and 30. But if you look at this point, we're making a pennant, right? And I'm not going to enter over here. Need a little bit more pullback. Want to see a reset over here into the 125, ideally, to add position. And there we are, 125. Still not an A plus setup to add to the position. Still washing, still selling. A lot of, uh, I believe, profit taker over here. We have to wait. My plan over here is to evaluate if we can re add into the 20, 124 and 20 or the 123 and 40. The zone over here or the zone over here. Still quiet selling of, off over here, 124. You can see traders on this dip over here, a little bit off wick to the downside. So they really dumped, still dipping over here. So it's still a bearish candle. So we are long from the uh, dips this morning that we had over here in this 121. And now when you want to add, just look at those levels where you're comfortable and you know that you have a good average. So if you want to long into 121, 122 area, and then you're adding over here to your position, actually 124, what are you going to look for? You're going to look now for the new average, supposedly is this over here, 123. So you want to always have enough wriggle room in case this dips a little bit more to then start again the uptrend. Yes, it's not helping. I'm looking at the asset tick chart as well. So yes, it's coming down a little bit. So you can see over here, broke support, broke support. Next one, 123. Oh, waiting over here, traders, for this trade. For a re -add. Max risk will be in the money, 122 and 80. So we're going to look for maximum risk. Still selling right here, getting to the 123, also VWAP. Let's see if we're going to have the buyers. Holding over here, VWAP. For now, double bottom. Not in. Waiting over here. See if you can reclaim this previous resistance and then a curl in long, okay? So what I'm looking is this kind of pattern. When I see a trend break, when I see a reclaim, a little bit of consolidation, and then taking the long, setting my risk here. 
grabbing a feel now, 123 and 38. 123 and 38, long add. So we're grabbing a feel right now. And I'm gonna explain why, some text over here. So we've seen over here a main support of the web here. You up and double bottom. And we're holding pretty good now the level. Just a, a feel over here, 15, 20%. Our max risk is gonna be this 123. We're waiting over here for a curl above this 123 and 50, and then we're looking to add size for a long, another long. So we're risking over here. We're gonna make this. So the first average is 122. Add 123 and 38. We're in a consolidation above 123 and 50 to add size, risking the money 122 and 90. Every single time we get to this dip 123 and 15, 123 and 10, we see still buyers. So until this is holding us good. Now we reclaim the 123 and 40. Let's see if we can consolidate it, right? This level. We want to see a consolidation of this level to add that size that we want. So I don't want to see a push like this. One twenty three and eighty. Remember what we're doing, traders, is adding over here. So if you are in the barter room, uh, we share all the entries down here into the one twenty one and then one twenty two, uh, breaking out of this wedge. And now waiting for the first dip where we can re-add a little bit. It's leaving too early over here. We need a little bit more dips over here in consolidation 123 and 40. Again, back down traders, you see main sellers over here, just like 40 cents dropped. Let's see if they're gonna hold this 123 and 40. We wanna see a consolidation over here, this main area, right? We have support, daily support. We have a here book map, 123. We have over here the VWAP. So this could be our level over here where we consolidate and we add more to the position. Always know what you're going to risk. In this case, we're going to risk 122 and 90. Still not adding over here, waiting. 124, still not adding on this. We have just a starter position around 15% of the ad. I'm gonna see more sideways action instead of here trying to leave right away. I'm gonna see more sideways action over here. So you can see they put over here some orders at 123 and 30, okay, to hold this up. And then over here they cancel, so it seemed like a spoofing order, right? Yes, in the meantime, it's coming down, so careful for this. When yes is dumping over here, Tesla could dump as well. So start over here at 38 and just like out break even for that ad. So get out the ad over here, break even. Okay, and now trader, we're starting to consolidate more, but yes is just unwinding. First break over here. So we're gonna trail our position now in the money. Honestly, guys, I think you've been spoiled because I, that was fascinating hearing your thought process during that Tesla long there. You know, the, the trade didn't play out, but it's an important note to not be results oriented all the time. I mean, this was, a, I think, a really great demonstration of controlled execution. You know, you always had a plan. You knew what you wanted to see, where you wanted to see it, and you defined your risk at all times. You know, M many retail traders there probably would be stuck panicking as, as we started coming down from 126 and 
but you you weren't candle watching stressing about every tick you remained kind of calm and focused so uh yeah i really think that's the, the signs of what it takes to be a professional trader you know thank you exactly like that you have to know your risk always so you have to follow the strategy without any emotions because you're not trading based on emotion you're trading based on the strategy so you don't have to think oh you did wrong you had a mistake no you simply trade what the strategy is telling you and then of course the market will decide you know if it goes good or not and uh, then you have to be disciplined to respect your rules and just go with that nothing else so uh yeah simply straight plan uh everything from the watch list you know i think it's uh it's a very good example today of um an ad over here didn't work we cut it uh, actually we cut it break even before the breakdown and then simply unwind it over here now and no trade for us so just waiting right now yeah you i mean you gave every chance to work and you, you protected your capital for next time and you know you just got to keep doing that and in the long run over the long term you know you're heading in the right direction it's exactly and, and exactly you, what, it's not about the high win rate it's more about you know the uh, risk management and the profit factor which is more important for us yeah and the, the thing that really hits me about your trading you you're, you sound absolutely not frustrated at all you know you're not not even a sigh or or you know banging the desk or whatever you know you just you're, you're like a Vulcan. Of course, of course. I mean, uh, those times are gone. And uh, just trading now, uh, plan, watch list, uh, being like observant of the rules. So I know exactly, and today is a good day. So <laughs> I, know exactly, I know exactly what I'm going to trade, what I'm going to risk. So until I, I'm with the discipline, you know, I I don't feel like emotions.